Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Subrata Sarkar. I'm a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing industry since last 22 years. Today I'll discuss the MBA education in India. You know, in India, altogether there are 5,000 institutes and colleges for degrees and master degrees, including all stream. And altogether, there are about three crore students, including like BA, BCom, uh, like engineering, pharmaceutical, all streams, graduations and master degree, about three crore people. And every year, on an average, 15 lakhs engineering student passes out from different colleges and institute. And MBA is about 3.2 lakhs per year, and doctors 1.2 lakhs and pharmacy uh, degree like B-Pharm, M-Pharm, etc. is all together 1.1 lakhs. Today I'll discuss only the students of uh, MBA PASAU, their future and what they're actually doing after this getting this degree. You know, as per the uh, SO Chamber report in 2017, that's 93% MBAs are you know, unemployable means what is the requirement of the industry and they are not at part that and 60 percent mbas are underemployed you know there are underemployed means there are many jobs actually which doesn't need a qualification of an mba but as they are not getting any other job they are doing that job and obviously that is a very low paid job even you know maybe twenty thousand per month but an mbas are doing that job this is the present situation. But you know, there's uh, like daily students, most of the stream, like MB is, uh, you know, there's a dream uh, qualification for them. Everybody is trying after graduations, like doing MBA, even the engineers are also doing MBAs. So, so, so this is a dream education. But what is the present uh, situation in overall? Uh, that is I'm going to share with you actually. Like, you know, this, uh, 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 including all, uh, reputed or branded uh, institution like IIMs, uh, Accelerize and all this and the good uh, institute is the average cost of an MBA degree is about 20 lakhs which is very expensive for the lower middle class or middle class family so in most of the cases actually students are taking loans from the bank and doing their completing their degrees but after completion of the degrees, they are not getting jobs. Because industry is saying, you know, their level of education is not up to the mark, other than some few, uh, uh, you know, reputed institute. So, so even what they are, get, so, so they are bound to get some small and other jobs, which is basically, they are getting underemployed. And whatever salary they are getting from there, and whatever, you know, there's a loan they have taken, like about 20 lakhs or something, even they are not in a position to pay their EMI. So this is the situation. And the main reason for, you know, this uh, uh, below level of the educations is the, you know, this good faculty in the private institution, MBA institution. In private MBA institution, you'll find the salary of the professor, assistant professors are very, very less as per the institute uh, and other uh, like industry, uh, with respect to industry, the professors are getting a very poor salary. So actually, basically, though one, those who are not getting good jobs in the industry, they are going, going to become a professor. You can uh, go to this you know, the website of the different private institute of the those who are uh, carrying on this uh, MBA education. You'll find that this uh, for the uh, vacancy of the professor, they, they are giving their advertisement. You'll find that the salary range is twenty thousand to forty thousand. It is in between the range, assistant professor like. So in in this range, how how they can get a good qualified and experienced professor? So they are not getting. So they are so so obviously the quality of the education in private MBA uh, institution are very poor, and this is as per very below the industry requirement. You know, after this uh, seventh pay commission also like in government MBA institutions like salary of the professors are ranging between 
50,000 to 150,000 per month, which is not a very big salary as per the today's market conditions. You know, an engineer working in uh, industry for 10 years, they are getting more than one lakh salary. So how uh, to become a professor, it needs a lot of qualifications and all these uh, master degrees, the PhD and all these things. So after doing all these things, they are getting salary also at the same. So, so, so nobody is going to interest in or choosing a good, uh, no, those are good students and not choosing the uh, professor as a, a career. You know? If we uh, think about this like uh, best institute of the world like Oxford, Cambridge and all this, uh, what is the salary range of the uh, professor there? That, that salary range is you can, you know, this is that, uh, approximately uh, average uh, object this uh, 10 lakhs per month, 1.2 crore per year. This is the salary range uh, and the, in India like it's uh, very very you know this uh, it's just incomparable actually. You know, so, so this is a shortage of the good uh, faculty and incompetent actually incompetent faculties and most of the uh, you know these uh, private institutions because they are not paying uh, very uh, very poor actually salaries so obviously good uh, professors are not coming to teach in these uh, private colleges so uh, so so this shortage of the good faculties is is uh, you know contributing to the quality of the student passes out from the institutions like but in like uh, good colleges like IELTS also even IELTS accelerates they are also professor not getting uh, so much you know a very high salary uh, but uh, definitely uh, but uh, you know this they have got other uh, you know these uh, advantages like they, they they are they can practice private consultation with the brand name of these IELTS accelerates so somehow they are uh, managing the have to having a good uh, professor in those colleges. And you know, this, no student is after passing this uh, graduation and all these things like those who are engineer. So they, they're directly going into the industry, maybe in this uh, software or manufacturing industry. Because to get, an, uh, to get the qualification of a professor, you have to complete your master degree. Then like PhD and all these things it will take at least six years, seven years. So you will, uh, you know, you will cross 30. So, so people are not interested actually in this type of career actually. So and at the same time, like uh, like MD is not required for the small uh, offices and all these things because in the corporate sector mostly MBA uh, 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 so like pass out students are needed but in uh, government sectors or most of the cases uh, obviously in the private sectors like uh, you know this manpower requirement is getting reduced day by day because there are a lot of you know this automation artificial intelligence and the lane management you know, like in manufacturing sector also like lean manufacturing so so people are introducing those so they are uh, you know, in need of uh, less uh, manpower which are earlier of their major requirements so in these are also like jobs for the MBA is you know getting reduced day by day now this average you know this average education level literacy level in the world is 84 percent what is the Average literacy level of India is 74%. So India need to further, you know, uh, focus on this uh, literacy. But at the same time, this youth literacy is about 92% in India because uh, nowadays all. But but problem is that people are getting qualified. They are having certificates only, but they are not, you know, this employable as per the industry requirement. They have got the certificate of maybe engineering, maybe master's degrees or MBAs and all this. But you know, they, they, they are uh, one is the there is a requirement. Uh, what is the requirement in industry and what, what are the students like producing from the colleges? There is a huge gap, and also the students coming passing out from are not the quality of the students are also a below level actually this is the problem with the Indian actual institution in present day and specially impacted with these uh, MBAs and the engineering I'll come in another video the engineering education in India because that situation is even you know, worse than this uh, MBAs uh, students you know in Europe uh, I've been working in Germany for two years so I know the education system and Europe is totally different than India the concept is in India any XYZ category of student, maybe a third division student who is getting less than 50% marks even in HS, higher secondary, 
he then he can be put in some institution for two years for preparing for giant entrance etc coaching and finally get the chances but as per this, uh, from the but from the you know class one to ten you record is is a very very poor, below average student but in European countries you, you can't just go like this way you know up to your plus twelve the record total number you have got in last twelve years that will decide whether you will be about a week in which of the areas you can get a further education there is no special uh, entrance like giant entrance examination for medical and all these things so there is a, those students who are having a higher education they are you know this uh, they are having a, actually like a very uh, a, a good uh, academic record uh, it's not like they have they are prepared for some uh, entrance exam and they get into some uh, special area, professional area it's not like that so this is the difference actually and india is un, it is very unfortunate that like if any vacancies when come out uh, maybe for the fourth grade student uh, sorry a uh, fourth grade you know this uh, uh, employee even for the sweepers like master degrees and graduates are employed because there is no job other jobs are not there and this is really unfortunate that a security guard who have who like whose uh, education or qualification maybe class 10 pass is enough and he is getting 10,000 to 15,000 rupees per month and at the same time after passing MBA this underemployed MBA is also getting less than 20,000 salary working in many industries I know many many of such MBAs personally and so, so this is the situation of you know, MBA education in India and one of the reason also you know this the, the, the way the teaching and learning method in Indian institutions are also so backdated actually you know they, they have in you know, uh, passive in education in uh, teaching there are two type of system one is called passive teaching one is called the participatory teaching passive teaching means like only teacher will say something so everything will come from the other side and student will take in this way you know this quality of education cannot be so high and the knowledge retention level is also very poor but if you involve the student for the projects case study practical work training and demonstration like today will tell something so so automatically the knowledge level and retention will be much more so this is one of the uh, gap actually like you know this uh, good uh, colleges like uh, they have got only classroom lecture is very less they have uh, case studies more and some project work but in indian uh, normal uh, education system like uh, normal uh, conventional colleges there is a you know only classroom teaching which is a very very much boring for the students also not very effective for uh, learning actually you know and also but, but sometimes you know by by law actually they force for some law that 75 percent have to have some attendance so students are saying in the classroom with the, with the, with the, with the you know, condition actually so they, they, their creativity and all these things are you know going uh, very uh, wrong directions and banks are also having a big you know, business side for giving the education loan and all these things so all together it becomes a very uh, you know, negative side actually for those for the students and their parents actually and when as for the corporate sector saying when there's a taking interview for the students especially for the MBAs, they are fine, there is a huge gap between the knowledge level and the, what is the industry because they are getting such level of education in the uh, uh, industry because, it, because the corporate sector requirement is like they will uh, hire one people and they will work for the four or five people and by the deep, uh, you know, this actual scenario is you know, the four or five people can deliver one person's jobs so there is a huge gap actually though nowadays there are many uh, professional companies also trying to get uh, uh, employees uh, who doesn't have any MBA or such degrees also but this is not a solution actually so you find some information about, about this MBA education is uh, uh, in this presentations you can uh, share this with your friends you can subscribe this uh, video so that you can find the other new videos thank you very much for your attention